is up, Humanoid Nation? So today's video I'm reacting to is by Screen Junkies, but I'm not alone in this. Welcome back, Korakon Nala. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> yeah. Last time me and him did a video together was like a year ago. I didn't know it was a year ago until he told me. But well, damn. It, it was last year. I think it was October or November. Pretty much around that time. Like the last video we reacted to was like when people go full retard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Some of those were very odd. <laughs> I was going to get you to react to something else that was weird, but then we, you told me, hey, Honest Trader as yeah. the social network came out just Today. recently. I was like, oh, let's do it then. <laughs> yeah, because we were, we were thinking about things that we would want to do, and I haven't, I've seen all of the Honest Trailers as soon as they come out, so I don't react yeah. to them. Besides, in my channel, I like to concentrate on just the the movie aspect. I don't have time, especially since I do a lot of Indian movies on my channel. I don't have the time to do videos that aren't trailers or movie reviews. And he does do a lot of Indian movies. So I, I don't, I don't, I would love to have the time to react to like honest trailers and. Like, do what Late to the Party does, reacting to the Schmodown. I love watching Schmodown. It's something I would end up reacting to, but it doesn't really have anything to do with my channel, so it feels out of place. I gotta start watching that Schmodown. I had no idea that was a thing until you told me earlier. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I almost want to make a second channel just so I can react to random stuff. <laughs> Hey man, up to you, up to you. Yeah, just call it like Korakon Random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, today's video we're reacting to is, like I said, Screen Junkies, it's Honest Trailers, yes. the social network, you, and yeah, that movie though, it was really good though. <laughs> like I was telling you before we started filming is, when it came out, I was surprised that Justin Timberlake was in it. Yeah, because you said he wasn't doing very much stuff during that. And like, I don't really remember that time. Yeah, period. he wasn't. I just know he was around. He wasn't doing a lot of movies. Uh, he, I think he had like small roles in a couple of films, but nothing to the like, scale. Like Alpha Dog. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing like in person. <laughs> yeah. And like Jesse Eisenberg, this was the best thing he's ever done in the social network. And don't get me started on Lex Luthor in Batman vs. Superman. No, I didn't like him in that. Yeah. But I liked yeah. I liked him in Zombieland. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Still I, waiting for the sequel though. It should be coming out. They keep announcing that they're they're doing stuff with it. Uh Woody Harrelson though is so busy, they've got him in like everything now. He's doing Yeah. The, He's in the new Planet of the Apes movie, War for the Planet of the Apes, and he seems to be popping up. He even did that one movie where he filmed the movie live. What? Yeah, he he did a thing with uh, uh, oh, what's the group? They they end up doing a lot of interesting things in theaters, like they'll show the metropolitan opera or they'll show like oh, special right. showings of things and he did one where he filmed a movie live they had like five film crews and it was based off of uh one night that he had in london and it was just i think it was called woody harrelson live in london woody and harrelson sure is a busy man though so they basically reenacted that one night, that crazy night that he had in London, and they filmed the whole thing in real time. You definitely got to check that out. You got to tell me what video that is after. <laughs> I, th I think it's just called Woody Harrelson Live in London or something like that. Um, oh, okay. Just remind me about, just remind me of, to look it up after we're done yeah, if this. You, if you Google it, it'll come up. Oh, Okay. All right, so I'm going to full screen this, and we're going to start this shit in what, three. What, hold on, hold on, hold on. i got to bring this up. All right, go ahead. All right, in three, two, one. Before you see the movie about an evil fictional technology company, see the story of Facebook, a real-life evil technology company. <laughs> The Social Network. 
Experience the world's smartest film about the world's dullest premise. Did you answer correctly <laughs> when Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss and Nivia Narendra ask you to build Harbor Connection? Did you say yes? In this dark Shakespearean drama about the website your crazy aunt posts minion memes on, <laughs> uses snappy dialogue. I deserve your attention. You have part of my attention. You have the minimum amount. Slick directing and great yeah. performances to make a story where young millionaires oh, sue each other for more money feel was really high stakes. What was your ownership share? I forgot Andrew Garfield was in this movie. Point zero three percent. That's still millions, you greedy <laughs> soul. God, I sell my kidney for point zero three percent of Neopets. Journey to Harvard, where no one ever lets you forget. It's Harvard. This is John Harvard. We're gentlemen of Harvard. Charles, want to give guys a good Harvard. 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 This is Harvard. And meet Mark Zuckerberg, a star student with the mind of a calculator, the heart of a troll. Erica Albright's a bitch. And the wardrobe of a comfy hobo. He's determined to do two things with his life. Make the world respect him. And make sure Jesse Eisenberg gets every awkward know-it-all nerd role in Hollywood. Take that, Michael Sarah. <laughs> I like my Michael Mars talent Pepper. are a succession of hot dudes in suits, like Eduardo, the only Brazilian who doesn't know how to party. He was Brazilian? Such a good I idea. guess so. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't shut it down before we get into trouble. You want to end the party at 11? I'm trying to pay for the party. Sean Parker, the man on the side who gets in the way of their bromance, and the Winklevoss, <laughs> who briefly got your hopes up that Army Hammer had an identical twin. <laughs> or to put it another way, Lex Luthor does Spider-Man for NSYNC so and long pisses long. off the Lone Ranger. <laughs> if you want to know the real story behind Facebook, watch something else. Because they're bending the truth harder than the news your uncle posts on his wall. Oh. In a film that makes up the ex-girlfriend who supposedly inspired the site. Makes up an obsession with final clubs that tears Mark's friendships apart. Tell me this isn't about me getting into the Phoenix. And makes him into an awkward scowling robot where in real life he was a normal dorky college kid. Within a couple of weeks, two thirds of the school movie, had signed up. So, at that point my roommates were kind of like, you know, this is pretty cool. Like. I bet this would work at other schools. But hey, don't let facts get in the way. I'm sure the real Sean Parker loved seeing himself as a paranoid, coked-out, cowardly, maybe sort of <laughs> statutory rapist. How old are they, Sean? <laughs> it's not what I'd ask. Sean, how old are they? So gather round for a film that's not really about Facebook. It's about friendship that still nails what it's like to use the website. <laughs> <laughs> in this masterpiece of craft that proves Aaron Sorkin could make boring litigation exciting. You stole our whole goddamn idea. Fellas. David Fincher could make applying for an internship look awesome. Welcome to Facebook. And Trent Reznor could make rowing down a calm river feel epic. No, it doesn't. Still does <laughs> Man, I wish they'd make another Facebook movie. Is a sentence I'd never thought I'd say in this lifetime. <laughs> Starring... Jesse Eisenberg as himself. <laughs> Andrew Garfield, the Brazilian Jew? Tim from Jurassic Park. Really? The Clone oh, Ranger. What? A single shade of gray. He's a thick nose das. And all the laptops who gave their lives so David Fincher could get the perfect shot. Side club. Wow. <laughs> How many did they destroy? I know it's realistic and everything, but trying to understand Sorkin dialogue in a loud bar is like your grandma trying to understand how Facebook works. Exactly. No, Nana. The search bar is not the same as a status update. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, Click the boxes above for more honest trailers. You saw the split one, didn't you? You like an epic voice, honest treatment in the comments below. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. <laughs> Yo, Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a strange machine. I've got to get back, back to the past. Samurai Jack. <laughs> hula hula, I am a nugget. nugget. I tune into Honest Trailers week after week, waiting for my, my comment, comment to be read out. out. I just, just want my mother to be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he finally did it. It finally happened. Yeah, I love Honest Trailers. You saw the one on Split, right? No, I haven't seen that one yet. You should. That one was really good. There's spoilers if you haven't seen it, though. Yeah, no, I've seen the movie Split. I just haven't seen the honest trailer to it. Yeah. I, I liked the... There was a, I forgot that Andrew Garfield was in... I know, right? The like, Social I came Network. came back to me now. I was like, yeah, he was in Social Network and completely forgot that he was in it. Yeah, so Spider-Man was in the social network. Yeah, they had Spider-Man, Lex Luthor, and... Lone Ranger. 
the Lone Ranger and uh, the voice of the new trolls. <laughs> Voice in a new troll. Yeah, um, Justin Timberlake does the voice of the main troll in that animated Trolls movie. Oh, right, that one. Yeah, now I remember what you're talking about. I haven't seen it, but I love animated movies. Depends um, on what it is, because sometimes they do good stuff, sometimes they don't. Yeah, the the thing is, like, I saw the trailer for Trolls, and I was like, I don't know, you know, it looks like a cash grab. Yeah. But, but I, yeah, Jesse Eisenberg in this, you know, like, yeah, this is the first time I actually took him seriously because he was playing a dick in this movie. Yeah, he, he does a great job playing a dick in this movie. <laughs> he so does. But then he goes back and does, like, the awkward teen guy in every other movie. Yeah. Like, I was hoping in Batman vs. Superman that he can be, like, a dick again, like how he did it in Social Network, but no, he was just a joke. <laughs> he was the Joker, basically. Basically, because like he wants to create chaos and whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> well, and he was just crazy. Like he acted really crazy when, in the you know Lex Luthor was more of a a manipulator, a calm, intelligent yeah. manipulator, calculated guy. Yeah, he wasn't all wacky and woo. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. What, what the hell is this? Like, who is this? Yeah. This then is. Then they shave his head at the end. This is uh, the Joker Luther. Yeah. Well, yeah, I I liked honestly. I liked this honest trailers. I liked the uh, I liked their names at the end. Like what was Andrew Garfield the Brazilian Jew? Yeah, the Brazilian <laughs> Jew. <laughs> He's a Brazilian and a Jew. I didn't know that his character was Brazilian. I must have forgotten about that because yeah, it's been so long since I've seen this movie, man. I completely forgot he was in it. And then he was a Brazilian Jew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for now. It's like it's been fun collabing with Coracon. Yes, sir. Indeed. Uh, yeah, if you want to check out Coracon, just go to his channel. I'll link his channel at the bottom when this gets uploaded, whenever you're watching. So basically right now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a collab on my channel. And uh, I don't know if it'll be up yet, but... We're going to have a long... It turned out being really long. <laughs> well, that's what podcasts are. Yeah, it's like a long, long podcast, video podcast, I guess you would call it, of just us talking about different subjects. Exactly. On and the, it was for the Reactors League. Yeah. And you'll put a link for that in the description. Yeah, once it's up. But anyways, take it easy, guys. Humanoid Freak and Cork Nala out. Bye! So, bye! Yeah, man, yeah, man, I can do this. All right, all right. Come on. Todo el mundo alentado está muy happy como Farrell Williams, pero don't get sloppy.